What's up, everybody? Good morning to you. Actually, top of the morning. It's like actually noon now. We're Good clack and crack and fishing team again today. <laughs> yeah, and actually, I was just picking up my motorcycle uh, from the fix it place. I knew you guys would ask about it. Anyway, it's a Harley uh, Dyna model. Uh, I inherited it from my father. I never really got into it, but I'm selling it. So uh, that's the deal with that. And uh, Darcy and I, uh, we're going to go fishing today, but it looks like maybe I have to go by myself. Yeah, I've got too many orders to do and take care of you guys for the Christmas season. It's coming up really fast and I've been taking care of my dad and helping around the house and that's been taking up a lot of my time. So today it's going to be in front of the computer and focus and get work done. So Brian. Yeah, so I'm going to go do some inshore fishing. You know, we got to get to keep the content going for you guys. Uh, and, you know, Darcy also has the sun just popping out into yeah. our eyes here. And, uh, you know, Darcy's been taking care of Dad, too, quite a bit. So, you know, it's been a full-time job over here. Yeah, it's a lot to handle. But thank God, goodness I have a lot of big family and a lot of sisters, and they're all helping out. So I can't thank everybody enough. But it's time to get to work for me. And all it's right. time for Brian to get to work on the water. All right. I'll see you later, baby. Love you. Mwah. Let's go, guys. Alright guys, ready to go fishing? It's a little windier out than I thought, so I'm going to get to a little bit of a calm area and I'll tell you what uh, we're going to be using today. Alright, Dust Dizzle Nation, I'm at the uh, Moonfish spot, or Look Down spot. If you remember from the other day, I figured I'm going to try that spot first and just see if I can get those Look Downs dialed in. But let me just go over the gear I got really quick, because I have a selection of reels from uh, a great reel for a good price up to a very expensive reel. So I just want to show you real quick uh, and the gear I'm using. I'm all rigged up like a bass guy today. I got five or six rods all rigged up and ready to go. All right, so let me start from the least expensive reel. Basic snook setup. This is a Daiwa BG. Usually, you know, well known as one of the best $100 or so reels around. All right, so that's Daiwa BG. That's on a tsunami rod, uh, what you might call a snook rod. 20, we always use 20 or 30 pound braid, okay? That's a tough, typically tough line. All right, on this one, I got a Uzuri, Darcy's favorite Uzuri lure, okay? And going up a little bit, I got, uh, I got a Saragoza. Darcy's uh, 6,000 Saragoza, again on a Tsunami rod. On this one, I got a DOA shrimp with a popping cork. Okay, very popular around here to use that. Uh, so this is about a $250 reel, great reel. You know, honestly, Darcy goes fishes so hard and, and so professionally, high level, that she goes through a lot of these rods and reels. Reels. And now I got her Christmas present, the Stella. This is top of the line, best you can get. And uh, again, got this on a, this is actually on a Shimano rod, but the Tsunami rods. This is actually on a Shimano rod, but we love the Tsunami rods as well. And I got a jig and uh, a gambler swim bait or paddle tail on there, okay? So you can see, I got a couple, a lot of options. When something happens, I can just change up really quick. I thought that was a fish, it was a wake. I'm gonna be doing a lot of docks today, so, and I like to use bait casters. The other day, if you watched my video, I did really well with these flukes. These are super popular. Mustad jig head and a fluke, all right? This is a bait caster, some kind of little bait caster. It's a lose, okay? I'm not a real, I'm not a real stingy. I don't really know a lot about bait casters, but this is a light one and I, and I it's really a bass one, but it's great for these little docks and stuff. And then my heavy duty bait caster, really mostly for throwing heavier live baits. Uh, I have a heavy top water on here. That's my Shimano Tranks, okay? That's a pretty heavy piece of machinery. And uh, you know, it's the middle of the day, a lot of sun, so we're not gonna do a lot of top water today, unless the opportunity arises maybe. But in the evening, uh, we'll do some more of that. All right, let's get on the uh, GoPro chest mount, catch some fish. I also got a haircut today, what do you think? Not red, sorry, I got a diet too. Nice, you guys see that? <laughs> Woo, it feels a little more like a jack. Way he's just jerking around a lot. There we go. I actually forgot to tell you about this rod. I had it laid in the boat. Nice little jack for bait, right? Or for eating. Remember, we just ate these the other day. This is a Terrorize. We love these for jacks and moonfish. It's perfect bait size. And let me show you this rod. This is actually a tsunami 
shield. It's the price point's about $80. Real good little reel for $80. It has a bunch of seals in here, supposedly waterproof. Let's test it out, actually. All right, now don't reel it when it's underwater. Now I'm just gonna dry it, ho hose it off. I'm gonna dump it, a little fresh water on there, which is common sense, what you would do if you got your, your reel wet, but uh, over time, let's see what happens. That was literally, literally the first cast. Not bad, huh? Almost looks like Putin knows what he's doing. I'm just letting this, I'm just letting this terrorize sink to the bottom. You know, it's kind of a jig type thing and you want to do, oh, I'm getting in the pipe, Jesus. Whoa, man. This is a terrible spot for fishing, isn't it, guys? Two casts, two fish. This one feels a little bigger. Nice. nice. Oh, it came off. Oh, we got another one. Jeez, the whole school here. <laughs> uh, let's go, baby. Another perfect bait for dough sizzle. All right. Last one. Now, sometimes these schools of jacks move on. Well, they always do. So, sometimes it's jacks there real quick and then they're gone, almost like mahi. So, looks like they're gone and we got the moonfish. Time to do something else. Nice! Little jacks, little jacks for Christmas. Little jacks, little jacks. They are so perfect for the crab pot. Little Jacks, swallow my bait. Darcy will be so happy. P.S. Just out of my glasses. Put in life. Nice. Look at that, baby. On the fluke, just like I told you. I didn't have a camera on. It was like the first cast. And it was like a boom. On the fluke. So pretty. Who catches the fish now, guys? Pudding does. Nice. jump there we go nice Woo. on the fluke again about the same size as that other one beautiful ow now you get slipped down come on baby we're gonna let you go look at that Jiggle when the thing goes up a little bit. Look at that. Where'd it go, Pudding? Nice. Woo, he's a spicy one. Feisty Snooky. <laughs> it's gonna be green. Oh, you're gonna hurt my thumb. Beautiful. Look at that one. Nice and clean. Good one. Nice. Nice. Whew. All right, nice snook there for me. I'm, I'm kind of killing it today, guys, I gotta say. So what I've done though is I was catching, I'm catching them all on this lure, okay, which I had on a particular uh, on a particular rod on my baitcaster. But we want to see if this reel keeps working after you put it in the salt. So I, I put it all on this reel, and so we're gonna start using it. And we're even gonna give it another dunk test. All right, see how it goes. They say it's got a bunch of seals in it. 
It's called the shield. We'll see what happens. See how much truth is in the advertising, right guys? All right, nothing here. I've successfully skated all the fish away from here, but the uh, importantly, the reel is still working perfect. I'm gonna try one more spot and then maybe go home. It's starting to get a little cold, but uh, let's see what we can do. So about one more day left for get to catch a slot to eat. All right, guys, back at the house. Didn't catch any more snook after that, so I wrapped it up uh, right around dark. Not too shabby. How'd you, do, how'd you do today? Hey, the sizzle. <laughs> yeah, I just showed up. He told me he was a couple minutes away, so I just rolled around the corner to check out what he caught today. Guys, we don't. Do we even need sizzle? Ew, that's not nice. <laughs> I got I'm very three... jealous that you went fishing without me, but at the same time, I'm so overwhelmed with work that I'm not too. I'm not too upset. But tell me what you caught. Order your calendars and bracelets before Christmas, yes. right away, right away. It's only like 13 days to Christmas. Yeah. All right, I caught three nice snook, nice. a bunch of uh, jacks for your crab traps, Yeah. a little those. barracuda, and I used, and I used, we had a little experiment with this reel, uh -huh. made it put it on the water, and, uh, and it's working fine still, you know, salt water takes a while to take effect, but, <laughs> you know, there was no problems yet, but we'll stay tuned. We're gonna find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sprayed it with fresh water. I, I put a little on there. Yeah. Whatever. Cool. So, well, let's wrap it up. I just want to apologize again that I wasn't involved in today's video. You I'm know. gonna be there in the future very soon, hopefully. But this time of the year, it's just work, 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 make videos, make you guys happy, and take care of family and hang out with family. So, exactly. that's what we're doing. The bugs are getting really bad. All right, let's wrap it up. But let's go ahead and wrap it up. I um, hope so. you guys enjoyed this video with Puddin. And until the next adventure, Follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just ask you how your day was? Go ahead. Can I walk up? Go ahead. Can I walk up? You want to leave the camera with you? No, you're like, uh, I'm back at the house and I can like walk up. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, guys, back.